Former national chairman of the Governing All Progressives Congress, Adam Zoshomole, has been speaking on the build-up to the 2023 general elections. Oshomole was a guest earlier on the morning show where he stated that the APC presidential candidate, Bola Tinubu, cannot be blamed for the performance of President Muhammadu Buhari. It is a fact that Asewaju by himself said, yes, he co-founded APC. I was a co-founding governor of APC, along with Fashola and other governors. But he never participated in governance, never held any position in government. He didn't carry out any contract on behalf of government. So how can you credit him? Either, either way, you can't credit him. Either way, I mean, this is just being fair. It's not like the vice president who announced that he uh, has been given the responsibility by the president to chair the economic team. Not just the national economic team that is in the constitution, but a special team put together by government, and he chairs it. So you can ask him to account for some economic policies. You can't say someone who never in any way participated in government should be credited with the outcome of government policies or be blamed either way. So as national leader, he had no input? National leader of the APC? No, I don't want this to be the conversation, but I watch that statement which you use quite generously on television when he was in Abekuta. A few days before the conversion. But this, I do not think we need to play okay. back. Just okay, sir. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, you made a lot of claims concerning Muslim, Muslim, ticket and thereabouts. All of those claims have counterpoints. But one that you said about uh, Pastor Adeboe. Yeah. The Will newspaper on the 19th of July 2022 says, Adeboe backs Khan Wait. and PF. Yeah, the Will. Adeboe backs Khan and PFN's position on Muslim, Muslim, ticket. That means he's against it. Uh, there's also a story here talking about RCCG denies uh, Adeboye and Tinubu meeting over Muslim Muslim ticket because there was a talk about a meeting. Mm -hmm. There are other stories that copiously says that Pastor Adeboye aligns himself with the position of Khan and the PFN on Muslim Muslim, which is, means they are against it. That's number one. The number two question I'd like to ask you, and when you also check historically, there's always been a balance between Christian and Muslim. The only time we didn't have that balance was from the time of Gowon up till, you know, early into the time of after Gowon left office and the time of Buhari Diagbo in 83, but that administration didn't last long. Even after Buhari Diagbo, you've always had a balance between the Muslim and the Christian with the military government. Babangida, Aikomu, Ukiwe, uh, 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 Babacha and Dia and the likes. There's always been some sort of unwritten balance. That's the counter argument a lot of people are making. Thirdly, people are saying that that means what you have just said here mm. is that you don't feel proud to campaign on the legacy of President Muhammad Buhari, that you have dissociated yourself to him. Since when Tundu asked you that will you be campaigning for continuity, you said no. You said you cannot blame uh, your candidate Bola Tinubu from the problems of this APC administration. That means you are dissociating yourself from the same tickets that you, sir, campaigned so hard for 2015 and 2019. Is it that you are saying this current administration has failed? This is a very, with due respect, this is a very poor interpretation of what I said. Okay, sir. Because she asked me about the performance of this government in relation to Atinibu's candidature. And I said, I said, well, you, it's not in this government. It's a statement of fact. I did not dissociate myself. How can I? No, did I did, or did I dissociate anyone? I talk about gains, and I talk about whether there were gains or no gains. Of course there are gains. But that is not the question before me. There are many gains. Many, many gains in the area of infrastructure. If we're talking about, you know, uh, the religious issue that you talked about, I lived in North for a long, long time. And to my knowledge, there is no Christian bishop 
who has been detained or prosecuted in matters that seems to have some relationship with the church. Where is Azaki is being prosecuted? He's a Muslim. And the president is a Muslim. And that is a man who used to block the road. And when he blocked the road, even Vice President Dan Amadisambo would make a detour. All right, let's hear from the main opposition PDP now, as the Delta Commissioner of Information, Charles Anyagu, joins us live from Asaba. Uh, well, as you know, the vice presidential candidate of the PDP, Fayo Kowa, is the current governor of Delta State. Uh, Charles, glad to have you on Newsnight. Thanks for joining us. Well, I'm sure you listened to the former chairman of the APC, Adams Oshomole, Comrade Adams Oshomole, and uh, all he had to say. But let me, uh, you know, point out some of the points that he made on the question of, you know, uh, the basis on which Tinubu would campaign, uh, you know, of course, when the campaign starts as an APC president, presidential candidate. Uh, are you satisfied with what... Uh, Oshomole had to say that Tinubu cannot really be blamed uh, for the performance or non-performance of uh, the Buhari administration. What are your thoughts? Well, let me tell you that um, if uh, Adam Oshomole, former governor of Edo State and former chairman of, national chairman of the APC, uh, actually had an inkling that some of those fireworks will come with your uh, three anchors in the morning, Possibly he would have claimed that he wasn't feeling uh, well and then possibly avoid that interview because um, in spite of his oratory prowess, it does appear that he was sweating profusely internally on account of the fireworks that came from your main, and which is why uh, he wasn't finding it easy. How on earth will anybody, particularly leaders of the APC, dissociate themselves from the very abysmal performance of their party, which has thrown us to where we are today? You recall as far back as 2014, Nigeria was one of the fastest growing economy in Nigeria, in the world. To the extent that our economy was growing faster than all the economies in Europe. And so, if uh, the former chairman, national chairman of APC, is now trying to say that uh, the national leader that is recognized of the party, who now happened to be the, uh, the presidential candidate of the party, cannot be blamed, you begin to wonder whether it's only uh, General Muhammadu Buhari that, is, uh, that makes up the APC. Uh, if uh, persons at that level, it shows that uh, they have really acknowledged that they didn't have any record on which to run. Of course, I don't need to inform you what has happened between uh, 2015 and now when they have been in power at least up to about seven and a half years. That our economy has nosedived, security has assumed a very dangerous dimension, our division as a country has become so bad that today the number one agenda of any of the presidential candidates will be how to unite us. Because without doing so, if you recall what uh, Chino Achebe said, that uh, things fall apart and the center cannot hold. Things have really, really fallen apart. So uh, it's most unfortunate that um, uh, Shomole is dissociating himself and other leaders of the party from the uh, Buhari administration. It's, it's also gladdening to know that they don't have anything to talk about. And I want to believe that Nigerians, as we make progress, uh, will come to uh, make a choice as to those who are pretenders and those who mean well for us. The issues are very, very clear before Nigerians, the issues of insecurity, the issues of very, very badly managed economy, the issues of division in our country. Yeah. And today, one candidate stands very, very tall in trying to address those issues. Okay. And that is Atiku Abubakar. Well, Mr. Charles, uh, um, Comrade Adams Oshomole did respond to that question when he was asked if he was dissociating himself he did say he did not want to make it uh, the, the, issue. the issue in that conversation. So he did not categorically say he was dissociating himself from uh, the current administration. But I wanted to ask you, um, on issue of security he mentioned, he said new problems have developed. Mm -hmm. And that the PDP also set the ground rolling for some of the current problems Nigeria is facing. I wonder what your thoughts are on that. It's quite unfortunate that for about seven years they keep um, referring to the PDP. Were they expecting that old problems will be the, what they will be coming on board to solve? Once you are being elected, you do uh, realize that change is one permanent and there are issues that will emerge. 
But once you are prepared to be able to tackle it, you of course will be able to deal with those issues and have a country that functions. Nigeria is not a lead country where new pro uh, problems emerge. But what has been largely responsible for the challenge we have today is very, very poor management of our diversity. I also listened to him when he was responding to the issue of a, a Muslim, Muslim ticket. And I saw him explaining that it doesn't matter. It's just like when you have somebody from the South as a presidential candidate, and you also come back to the South to pick another pres uh, vice presidential candidate. Somebody will also tell you it doesn't matter. For those who are crying and child, uh, raising issues about the uh, Muslim, Muslim ticket, it's not because they are talking about just religion. They are talking about inclusivity that we needed to take steps that will indeed unite us as a country. Today, we are very, very divided. And once you are divided, you are not going to be able to address a whole lot of issues because you are not likely going to secure the buy-in of different segments of the society. But I'm quite surprised that um, uh, former governor of Edo State and former national chairman, Adam Sushimule, is dismissing it with a wave of hand. Yes, it is not written. We do know that even if you wake up today and decide that you are going to have a presidential candidate from possibly a do state and also nominate a vice presidential candidate from a do state. You have not offended the law, but you have offended the sensibilities of the rest uh, of uh, the other persons in the country. And that is what the APC candidate have done. Right. He has also raised the issues as to uh, whether the PDP didn't decide to uh, go to the north. He failed to realize that the first, the last president of the PDP was from the north, or from, from the south, right. and that the, vice, the presidential candidate of the PDP today was elected at a convention. The right. vice presidential candidate of the APC today was not elected, he was nominated. Their candidate had the opportunity of addressing the challenges that that kind of thing would trigger. All which right, of let's, course let's speaks to the fact that they don't about, even realize yeah. that we are very more divided today. Charles, uh, before we let you go, I mean, the PDP House, uh, you know, things don't seem to be very smooth there, too. You had the BOT, uh, you know, meeting with the Yesom Wike wing. That issue has not been resolved. Whatever it is that is, uh, you know, uh, irking uh, Yesom Wike, the governor of uh, River State. I wonder what you have to say about that. Is it even going to be resolved at all, considering that your principal is at the epicenter of this issue it's already being resolved uh, we must also appreciate um yes on wiki the governor of the rivers who have made it very very clear that he's not going anywhere he's going to remain in the party that speaks to the fact that he too is very much interested in having a united party that will uh, return um, the country to winning ways and good enough the presidential candidate of the pdp and his running mate uh, former vice president Atiku abubakar and governor kowa are also very much disposed to having a one, a one house or one united party ahead of the 2023 general elections. Of course, you do recognize that sometimes after issues of election, you do have individuals who may not agree with a number of issues, and that is why you have a reconciliatory uh, moves and then constitution committees uh, all put together. And the the BOT is a conscience of the party, made up of a whole lot of elders with a whole lot of experience. They are going to come in, look at it, and I'm also very happy because I do know that the presidential candidate of the party is very much disposed to every all peace moves. And I want to believe that in the not too distant time, all those uh, little storms in the teacup will be addressed, and then of course we'll be able to take the tea and take it very, very smoothly. So for me, there isn't so much cause for alarm. Hey, so PDP much. will be able to resolve these issues, and then we'll further ahead. Thank you very Great. much, uh, Charles Anyogo, is the Commissioner of Information in Delta State. Thank you very much for your time.